Okay, so yeah, lately a lot of blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who all have you shot for out here? Um, I've shot for Reality Kings, Bing Brothers, and um, Corrupt, and that's about it. Oops, a lot of milk, milk stuff? Um, yeah. It would be. I mean, I've probably only shot for about six come six six times out here, so. I mean, it's not that many motherfuckers out here, really. They're like, like Cali. You know what I'm saying? Cali, yeah, yes. Cali. That should keep you busy. Uh, yeah. Um. That's why I tend to go to Cali more, but they opened a new club out here. Oh, you dance? Yeah, I dance, and so um. I don't Where? know. My last trip, everything went crazy and nothing happened as it was supposed to so I stumbled into the club right. and I kind of liked it and um I mean that's the difference between porn and escorting and stripping it's like it's all one you know what I'm saying you can shoot with so many porn scenes right yeah if you dance you'd be in the club every night yeah making money every night yeah but like I danced before I did porn I'm kind of trying to get away from dancing so I came down here to to shoot content like um which wasn't very successful my first time only because my Twitter account got suspended I'm like you couldn't contact nobody I wasn't I wasn't under the assumption that one day my Twitter would be gone I'm like shoot I don't know about half these Motherfuckers, I'm just uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know what to do. So that was the week before last, and then this week I've been busy all week. But um, but um, I like Miami, like I think a little bit better than Cali right now as far as the weather goes. And like Cali, if you're not shooting, you can't really just go to the strip. The clubs out there are crazy. They suck. Yeah, man. I was in a club out there. These motherfuckers charged me twenty dollars for a Red Bull. <laughs> I swear to God. Well, <laughs> this guy told me he got a blowjob for ten dollars. Well, actually what? nine dollars because he didn't have ten, but the girl asked him for ten, so you. Nah, you could have gotten, could have gotten two blowjobs nah, for twenty. I don't go to them kind of joints. <laughs> <laughs> it I was the one. Them. They didn't serve. They didn't serve any alcohol, and it was like had a still had a two drink minimum yeah this was a non-alcoholic club too i don't work at those i don't like those i like to work at a club where the guys have drinks and like it's more fun and then like right. of people, course. Are people party, with their you money party. when they're yeah, drinking yeah, yeah, it's like party. when you're not drinking you're like oh, i'm not spending this 20 dollars like they want you in there focused on just staring at titties and that you know what i'm saying yeah. you want to get fucked up when you now i had one of those that I worked at, that was no alcohol and it was 18 and over. And it was great money, but it was like, we had all the young college kids coming from that like, had money to blow. Right. But it was still like, back then I thought it was great money, but it was a lot of dancing for a lot of ones. Right, right, right. So. That's a grind, right? So where were you dancing at or where do you dance at out here? Um, I like the brand new club, Club 11. 11? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Where is it at? It is right downtown on, I think it's Northwest First, but I don't know if that's Street or Avenue. It's right by Club Space. And uh, it's, it's, oh, uh, fucking um, Gold like, Rush. The yeah, old Gold Rush. Yeah, the old Gold Rush. Okay. So, it's cool. Like, it's probably. You can make money there and not do, like, not hustle. Because of the types of people that might fall through in there. You just make good stage money. Like, the uh, last week before the last one I went there I just made good stage money and checked it out but I actually haven't made it over this week and I don't it just, it's not looking like I will <laughs> but it's there if I need it you know so that's it's a, cool that's the beauty of being a girl right yeah walking the door niggas throw money at you <laughs> 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 right yeah yeah 
Yeah, it's it's more like a nightclub though, so it's hard. Like the guys are like, I don't know how to tell if it's a girl who works here or if it's a customer. I was like, well, you gotta look at the shoes. <laughs> Check the shoes. And if if you can't tell, then I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I understand. I'm sure either one will take money if you go up. So. That's the bottom line. Have fun regardless, right? <laughs> do, you, do your thing. So they have these girls that do the ropes. I, what's that called? Where you rope like that Cirque du Soleil type shit? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that's called though. Uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, One of them has this huge dress that everybody pulls out and it goes over the whole dance what? floor. Yeah. And then they have like a bathtub show. Like all of a sudden they take the pole out and they bring out a bathtub. And then they do like a bath, and then they have like it's like a cowgirl bath show. It's kind of weird, but I haven't been there. It's at a five-star restaurant, and then the whale room is like for the guys. It's fifteen hundred an hour per girl, and you have to spend a minimum of five thousand to go in the whale room. In the what room? Whale. In whale. The whale room. Yeah, like the big fish. You got the big fish. And they actually the call whale. it the whale room. Yeah. This guy's like, don't you think guys would take offense to it? I was like, personally, me, if I had that much money to spend, uh, people could call me a big whale. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody's distracting me with this. You know, people text you, it's an emergency, man. Mm -hmm. It's not an emergency. Um, so it's really the whale room. So 1500 to go in the whale room? Yes. Like the regular private suites are like four fifty a half hour, seven fifty an hour. Really? Yeah. That's twenty four hours. Oh. At right here at this spot? Yeah. In Miami? It's, a, it's got a five star restaurant. Hold on. What? They got a twenty four hour Oh you mean oh, oh no I oh I'm, I'm thinking telling telling me like the room. Right, it's 24 hours. No, I know the. No, 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 oh, no, okay. no. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean it's Gold Rush. Gold Rush was always like that. But how come the rest of Miami is not 24 hours? <laughs> I mean, more or less, it is. It's, it's, well, it, it feeds into. I beg it, to it, it feeds into other shit. Depends on where you're at. Because I, I was at the Hyatt Regency downtown, right. and I could not find anywhere open to order food on at 11 o'clock on Monday night. Like I know it's a Monday, but. Well, where were you, well, where were you looking? I looked on Yelp, I looked, I called the front desk, I gave up and I went to 7-Eleven. Oh, that's terrible. And ate a protein bar. Because like Denver, we have, we have this one number you can call and it will, they'll tell you all the restaurants and you can just order right there from any restaurant that's open 24. But we have a bunch of restaurants open 24. No, they definitely have, um. 25 stuff out here. For sure. Really? I mean, it's my it's Miami. I mean, I I ate at one on South Beach and it was horrible, like disgusting. Like what kind of food was it? Oh, it was uh, like it was like kill yourself <laughs> while you eat. Like I got a sandwich and it was like so much meat on that sandwich and then so much grease on the sandwich, which it was weird. It was weird. What the fuck is? It was what was it called? It was right there on Colin. I see. Uh, man, it's on it was like a burger that. joint that was ginormous inside. That was. You know, it was good over there. The pizza spot, pizza, rustica, rustica. Yeah. They got some good pizza over there. Yeah. I'm giving all kinds of shout out for you. I ate at a very good Brazilian place yesterday, but I don't remember the, what it's yeah, called. Remember. It was like BPP or something. BBP. Mm. Not familiar. In Brickell? It was right, um, right there on s Southeast Seventh Street, yeah. right behind the um, Starlight. Okay. 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 But Miami's dope. You know what I'm saying? We don't got the weed laws like y'all got in Colorado. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So what happens if you were walking down the street and? smoking a joint out here what, what? do you think do you think one a cop would come up to you and say something if you yeah, did it most definitely 
Would he tell you A, to put it out, or B? It, well, it all depends on how blatantly, just like, what level of disrespect do you have for the law? Like, are you, are you walking past a police car and blowing weed like, at it? Or like, but do you think there's a level of corruption out here, too? When it comes to, to that, or just overall? Just overall. Oh, of course. I mean, fuck yeah, that's my yeah. Of course, big time. But where is it there? Yeah. But it's worth it's, exactly. it's, 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 it's. But a lot of it's people. A, more a lot of people don't believe there is corruption. Like as far as they don't believe that money might corrupt, corrupt oh, nah, people's choices that and, are and, in. No, nah, come on. And it's a little more transparent here. Look at where we're at. You know, you got the Port of Miami and all this shit just coming over here. And these people that want power and their backgrounds back to Cuba or to Haiti or wherever. And they, you know, they, whatever they doing over there. There's all kinds of shit. But as far as we know, I mean, if you're right here walking on the side of the road with like a little joint minding your business, I don't think yeah. somebody's going to jump out the car and, and slam you for some weed. But... Matter of fact, I was filming. A, <laughs> I was filming a scene one night, and I'm um, in front of this club on the beach, sitting there and just getting carried away and, mm -hmm. and too comfortable in my surroundings and shit. And I fire up a joint, and we're right outside. The police station's right across the street, <laughs> and oh. the fucking cop walks right up on me like, "You gotta be the dumbest motherfucker. Turn the camera off. Cut that shit off. Mm -hmm. I got that shit on tape." Um, and. The town, the city that I went to high school. Right. Now, if you smoke a cigarette outside, you can get up to 90 days in jail if it's your third offense. So, what? instead of going to jail for smoking pot, you can go for smoking a cigarette. How it should be. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, I don't think anybody should go to jail for smoking anything outside, but that's my opinion. I mean, as far as cigarettes and pot go. What are these fucking directions telling me? To? Tap Street. I need to get to Tap Street. Okay, I'm on pop. Yeah, I mean, you know, to each his own, right? If it's legal, it's legal. If, if you go to jail for doing something that's legal, then... What are you going to jail for? Right? Yeah. Then that's a, that that must be like a it's law. Kind of well, it's kinda of like in Colorado we can't have alcohol outside any type of like you can't walk down the drink. So you're supposed I to mean, smoke cigarettes in your house or in your car? Yeah, and if you smoke them in your car you're supposed to smoke them with the windows rolled up. Really? Yeah. So like kill yourself. Basically. <laughs> they're, like, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna pass it throughout the whole city. Um I just don't see how they'll be able to one enforce it, but a bunch of anal cops can enforce anything, like these motherfuckers out here right now. If they, you know what I mean? Now, do you know? I, I there's a little sandwich shop by where I stayed, and for two days there was a cop there all day long, just eating and hanging out. Like, is that what this? <laughs> I don't watch. People like I to don't, pay I, for though. I don't watch those guys, so I don't know what they do. Well, I don't watch them either, but I just observed that I went there twice to go eat, and then today I was there for like two hours, and he was there the whole time eating yeah, like three different the time. meals. Just fuck, just fucking no, just, just no crime in Brickwood. No. There's no crime in Brickwood. There's crime maybe close by. In yeah. The city of Miami police would do that. But the brick, but like the Brickle Bay uh -huh. cops. They don't have what anything the fuck to are they do. doing? Because okay. he just had his car with the lights on in the road for like two hours and like, and he had like some be chilling, man. friends he was bird. hanging out with. And Flapping like birds this. and he's talking shit. Going to diners. Yeah. But you know, it's good, it, it, you know. When you live in a certain kind of area, just the appearance of the police everywhere will make a motherfucker act right. You know what I'm saying? You start walking in restaurants and gas stations everywhere you go, it's a cop. Probably know you don't want to fuck around over there. Yeah. But I don't, you know, again, I don't, I don't know what they do. I'm busy doing this, filming porn. Come on. So, Zoe Portland. So, how many movies have you been in? You think? By now? Um, I have like nine DVDs that are out and maybe 40 scenes not all of them are out 
How many of them are interracial? Most of them? No, I would say less than. Or right around 30%, surprisingly. What are your favorite kind of scenes? But I might be trying to increase that to 50. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. <laughs> my favorite types of scenes are like. I like more hardcore scenes. Um, I like anal, DP, interracial. I, I want to uh, do. I'm going to start doing some more girl girl hardcore, like anal, girl girl. Um, so, all different things I like to have fun with it. So. I saw a scene that you just did with a company, I'm not gonna say their name, but it was like a... How was that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm only gonna guess, but like all my scenes, I don't have any issues with any scenes that I've shot. They've all been... Cool? Cool. Yeah. It was, uh, it was like a boy, boy, girl. Boy, boy, girl. Or like boy, 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 girl. I don't know. It was, it was all interracial anal. Oh. Condom shit. Yeah. No, that was cool. It was um fun. Was it? Yeah. Like really? Yeah, like really. Yeah. I haven't had a shoot that like I am but I'm like one of those, How many how many guys? I'm like one of those people that like How many guys was it? It was two. It was two? Yeah. And there actually wasn't DP. It wasn't DP. Or I don't know if we're talking about the same one. Uh, I mean, how many how many of those scenes have you shot since you've been out here? Um, that well, we probably are then. So it was shot out here, so that yeah, narrows yeah, down. Yeah. Okay, then yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I just saw like a clip or some shit. You know what I'm oh. <laughs> but you know whatever. Yeah, no, I try to, like, I don't have any issues with anybody, and, like, I'm very, I'm one of the few people that won't talk about other people, because people are too busy talking about me, so. <laughs> yeah, we ain't supposed to you talk know? about people, you know? That, that does. I'm just saying, like, like, I get along with pretty much everybody. Unless they don't like me and I don't get along with them, like, or unless they're really rude. Like the other day, I went to the gas station, right? And I plugged my phone into the wall, uh -huh. put it down. There was two outlets, and then I go to the counter, I buy what I'm buying, uh -huh. and I go back there, and my phone's unplugged. Somebody else had plugged their phone in, which they could have done and not unplugged my phone. Oh, they were just like, fuck your phone. Fuck my phone. So, you know, she comes back there because I was like, I was like, that is so fucking rude. She's like, well, I did that. She's like, I'm just desperate. I'm like, desperate for what? Like, Let me see what this guy is. Get your ass beat because. <laughs> and my she friend that I was, was with, desperate. he's like, oh my gosh, he's like, you, you just changed. And then he was like, wouldn't even. I was like, you don't think that's fucked up that she unplugged my phone? Anyway, I unplugged her phone when I grabbed my phone to leave. <laughs> but then I was waiting for her to come out of the gas station. Hey, hey, man, well, I'm over here by this quick stop. Where you at? Where you at? Uh, I'm on 89th and Palm in this plaza. Maybe I turned in, I think. I mean, 89th and Taft. Yeah, Taft and 89th. Yeah, man. Uh, Taft and uh, 89th, yeah. That's what? And. Whatever the address you sent me, right? Right before Douglas, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm at Douglas, uh, so I'm I'm across, I'm across, okay, yeah, I'm right here by the subway. Alright, cool. Alright. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh, this is in my But I know this girl, she was hating on me for a while. She probably still does. <sighs> Why? What did you do to her? You fucked her boyfriend? I don't know. She, well, no, not nothing like that. I guess she just fucked this guy and figured that since they fucked, that was going to be her dick forever. But he's like in the industry and like I'm pretty sure she's tripping. Who's the guy? Oh, there we go gossiping. 
And that I can't say, and the girl I can't say either. Nah, but, I don't know. but I posted a picture of me and the guy. And it was just me and him, like, we met. He's, a cat. He's in Cali? Yeah, we met, and we took a picture, and that was it. And then they fucked, like, the next day. And then when I posted the picture, then all of a sudden she was like... You fucking my man. That's my dick now. <laughs> I'm like... So I just kind of messed with her a little bit, but I... I don't have anything. I yeah. just thought it was funny. I'm going to give you this all while I go. I need this. <sighs> Talk to yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can, um... Yeah. Sweet. So here we are chilling in the rainstorm. Yeah, man. Okay, let me. How many scenes you been in so far, man? I did one. And that, the, the, the bus. The yeah, bus, yeah, last week. <laughs> what was it? Bing bus. Oh, you did the Bing bus? Extra. You're an extra? Yeah, she's yeah. like straight in doing that. <laughs> she's yeah. like, now what do you do as an extra? <laughs> Cause I, I've never been an extra before in case I get that part. I wanna know. Stand there, watch everybody else do what she wanna do. Yeah, it's like a college. Is it in case the guy can't perform, then you step in like because one day I did a shoot out here. Um, my first time coming, second time coming out here, and the guy could not perform, and it was like an all-day thing, and it was, we ended up having to kill it, and then, um, reschedule it, and then it never ended up going through, but they were going to bring in a stunt was it? dick, just in case. Yeah, I mean, that shit sucks, you know what I'm saying? You be ready to shoot a scene, you got your day going, everything's moving how you think it's how it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then dick don't work or you know what I'm saying? Some other bullshit happens and fucks up all day. Yeah. Yeah. But uh um, <clears throat> makes you want makes you want to give him a point. You just wanna fuck bitches on camera? I mean <laughs> I'm, I'm a Scorpio, so <laughs> how how old are you? Oh you know what? I'm, My I'm, man I I'm twenty three. Twenty three. <laughs> and how big is it? Oh, you go. Oh I got his the age of semi. <laughs> no, I just want to know how many inches it is. Yeah, yeah and then the circumference. <laughs> I need to turn here and all that. So about six? <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but I used to think this was like eight inches. Zoe? Yeah, Zoe Portland. You used to think this was eight inches? I did. Oh man, so if that was six inches, then... Then his was really like six feet. If that <laughs> was. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, all the time, they'd be like, it's eight inches. So for the longest time, I thought that was eight inches. And then when I got my heels... And so we about to shoot this blowjob scene. Um, I don't even know if your agent did she even say did she even say what site you're shooting for or was she no, just no. like she's like you just gotta see. It. I mean she told me uh I forgot she told me a company, I forgot what it was. Oh so you do have a female agent? Yes. Got a girl. Um, yeah. Alright. Um, it's industry invaders. Industry invaders. Yeah, she told me that. So this yeah. is your second actual shoot? Yes. See, I'm shooting them in the scene tomorrow, also, right? So, the whole, like, I had going on earlier this morning, and that fell through, and then I was like, well, you know what, perfect. I'm shooting him tomorrow, and since I never worked with you, and since you're brand new, let me see if he can work, so I might as well just throw him in a blowjob scene real quick. Okay. He can handle himself, you know what I'm saying? You gotta tell everybody, the industry invades us, you know, that's the, um, that's the wave right there. How fast you guys upload the videos? <laughs> huh? So how often do you guys upload the videos? 
Right now, we are, we update them every Tuesday on the network. It's a seven site network. Yeah, I was doing for the uh, thing, but the one I did. <laughs> yeah. Now, have you? Um, oh, you trying to get? You trying to hurry up and have your people like? <laughs> I told you I did that shit, right? <laughs> Y'all thought I was bullshit, right? Have you told your family <laughs> too? Yeah, do uh, they, no. they know? Uh, no, not uh, yet. Not, not yet. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think your dad watches porn, or your? I don't know, uncle, mom, brothers, <laughs> nah, sisters. I doubt it. Um, I'm surprised. I, mean, I really don't care though. <laughs> hey, I'm, I think I'm going way too far from where I'm supposed to be, man. It took my family like. Yeah, they found out as soon as my first scene came out. That's ten months. Like, that's ten months. How long have you been doing it? Ten months. But it took one person to tell everybody, and like, so they're still like that. I got very kind of irritated the other day because it's like my mom knows what I do, but you don't have to tell her every detail, like. It's not something I talk about. So my mom calls me up talking about she heard that I was gang banged by five black men. <laughs> and it's like, and she's like, she's like, I'm sure it's not true, but it's like, I'm not gonna say, yeah, it's true, but it's like, who does that? She heard you got gang banged. They don't have to tell every detail. It's an awkward conversation, huh? <laughs> you know, they can just, she knows what I do and like, I don't. Hey, People don't share park. personal details with their parents. We're gonna go to the park right here, right? And we're gonna shoot an intro. Like, you know, all this is. We're gonna shoot an intro like, as if um. I don't really know what. I mean, we're just gonna be talking shit. We're gonna see her. Uh, we're gonna approach her. Like, Why the fuck is she looking like that? God damn, you out here looking like you know what I mean? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Simple. That's why I do want people to watch to see my site. But okay, we're, we're gonna watch the trailer together. My phone, my phone will die. Before my phone dies, let me get you on my Instagram real quick. Okay. 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 Alright, people, we out. <laughs>